Back at Idaho Central Arena in downtown Boise, Washington State improving to 8-2 and two on the year, getting back-to-back -back quad one wins. It's a 74-69 victory over Boise State. And joined now by the head coach of the Cougs, David Riley. Coach, congrats on what is a awfully impressive win here over a very good Boise State team and an impressive program in Boise State. In this game, the team got off to a red-hot start and then was able to hang on in the second half. How was the squad able to withhold that pretty furious rally that Boise State was able to put together? I thought we had some guys step up and make momentum plays. Obviously, we didn't do what we needed to do to, to hold that lead. That's something we got to work on. That's exciting for me, honestly, is that we're, we're winning these big games and we still have so much more, more to work on. But us getting that cushion was big. And then you can, you can just go down the list. Like, Dane hit a big shot. Luan had a couple big time passes when we settled us down. Nate settled us down to get into our offense. Zay had a huge one. Uh, Ethan had some big boards. I mean, there's just so many guys that, that stepped up in, during, during that stretch, and we, had, we found enough stuff to win. You know, sitting over here and we're watching the game, and it feels like we're getting just killed on the fouls right in the second half. <laughs> but when you look at the free throws, uh, I meant uh, y'all shot just as many, just basically yeah. two less. But yeah. I, I thought. The, the recognition of uh, the the small guy, Cardenas, that we didn't really expose that. No, we, we, we got to do a better job of getting the ball moving. Um, I, I know we had some good passes when we were running our sets, but I thought we could have flowed a little bit better and picked on that mismatch. But Boise's such a big physical team. They got four guys that were kind of switching around them, and uh, they did a good job taking us out of that. I want to make sure we kind of go through Lawan's stat line here. 20 points on 6 of 8 shooting, getting to the foul line 10 times, 8 of 10, and so many of those were major foul shots, and taking care of business on the front end of 1 and 1s. 11 rebounds, so it's his fourth double-double of the season, 6 assists, a steal for him. You've been with him his entire college career. To see him put together a game like this without Cedric and all eight available guys having to shoulder a little bit more, what did that mean for him to deliver like he did today? It, it's, it's an unbelievable story with Luan Watts. You know, he came in as a heck of a talent uh, with me two years ago at Eastern Washington, redshirted, and he's just been getting more and more consistent every single day. He, he accepts the challenge. He allows me to coach, and I coach him harder than anyone else on our team right now. And he steps up to that challenge, and it's just so awesome to see a great person, a great, great human being like that go, go have a game like this. I, I, again, 15 assists on 27 makes. Uh, your offensive in the first half was really rolling, just continuity. Uh, <laughs> they sped us up, or they slowed us down a little bit. Did that hurt? Yeah, I thought we, we talked about it before the game, like, our biggest key is that we want to play the, play the game at our pace. Boise State want, wants to play a little slower. They want to pound it inside. We want to get the ball zipping around, get early drag screens, and play, play off flow. And um, I thought the, the, when, the, when we were scoring and beating them by 24, we were playing our pace. When they were coming back, we were playing at their pace. We had to slow our down our offense. We were a little bit clunky. Uh, and that's why I think we just got to learn. This has been two really impressive wins over Nevada and Boise State and it's happened during this stretch where the team has been as shorthanded as it has been the entire season. What allowed you and your coaching staff and those eight guys who have been able to put on a jersey and go out on the floor and replayed a little bit so we'll count at nine but he played roughly five minutes against Nevada. What allowed the team to navigate what could be you look on paper a really difficult week going at Nevada and then playing Boise State in their own backyard and to come away with two wins. We, we are, we've been excited about the challenge. Like, we, we know they were going to be two tough games in very tough environments. And all we kept going back to was those two losses that we had. We, sh we, we played Iowa. We, we lost to SMU. And I really feel like they gave us confidence. We should have won those games. We had some really silly errors that, that took us out of those wins. And that gave us confidence to come in here in these tough environments and win the game. And, and I think that plus just knowing, knowing that iron sharpens iron. Like, we had summer practices where there was – seven, eight, nine people that look like the best player on the floor on a different day. And so Cedric Coward's going to play in the NBA. That guy's, <laughs> guy's amazing. Uh, Reeve Avers is a, is a heck of a player. I can go down the list of some of the guys that are banged up right now. But, like, we know we got seven, eight other guys that can play. And it's just a, it's, it's cool to see them step up and have that next man up mentality. Now, I think uh, everybody forgets uh, that, we, that uh, these guys are student athletes. What does the next week look like for them? They got a couple days off from, from basketball, and they, they got finals week. And yep. They need it. We have some, some grumpy, some grumpy <laughs> players the last week that have been up too late studying. 
I mean, Dane is like taking linear algebra and C++ and he's taking these hard classes and staying up late and coming in and battling in practice. And I'm very happy that they get to have a little more, uh, I don't know, they'll be a little happier when they study for the next couple of days and let's get through those and, and finish strong. There's so much ahead of this team and you're just 10 games into your career as the Cougar head coach. But I do want to pause for a moment. I mean, this is a great two game stretch. This game was on national television. You're, you're talking to Jay Wright. You're talking to Bill Rafferty. I, this game nationally, this was on CBS, and they got to see the Cougars come off to a great start and to withhold a challenge from the preseason favorite in the Mountain West Conference. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but it feels like you, your coaching staff, the guys, guys with chip on your shoulder that maybe, you know, along the way, not always given the respect that you thought you deserved and not always given, you know, playing at the level that you thought you deserved. What does it mean on, on this stage to be able to make this happen? You know, uh, it, it's it's kind of crazy to see. It's surreal when I'm walking over there to talk to Jay Wright <laughs> and Bill Rafferty. And last year, and you know, just playing in the big sky and to, to play on this this stage is, is, is unbelievable. But uh, it, it's, uh, it's an honor. We have a chip on our shoulder. Our first part of our film session after the Nevada win was a bunch of we just showed a bunch of tweets, and it was, you know, stuff like things you didn't think you'd see, Washington State beat Nevada, you know, what a surprise win with Washington State down guy. And, like, the hell? <laughs> we're, we're a Pac-12 team. Like, we're going to go in here. We should win these games. We got the dudes to do it. Like, we got to make a statement versus Boise that it's not a surprise anymore. This is who we are. That's music to cougar ears everywhere, <laughs> Coach. Uh, you have fit in uh, just uh, you've taken to being a cougar like a fish to water. It's great to have you as a cougar. Congrats on the victory. And we have our first cougar basketball hour coming up on Tuesday. So uh, uh, more to come uh, with that, talking about the season Tuesday night from 6 to 7 at Zeppos. Excited to talk to you more then, and I know we'll have folks from the, the team as well. Congrats. A great win. And, really uh, good win. We'll talk, uh, we'll talk on Tuesday. See you guys then. Go Cougs. Yep. Again, that is Dave. David Riley, the head coach of the Kooks, talking about Washington right, State's 74-69 win over Boise State.